Hi guys, today I'll be showing you a video about discharging main filter capacitor in an equipment. Usually, uh, when you see the assembly section of the electric equipment or electronic equipments, we can find that there will be always a main filter capacitor. I will show you the circuit diagram. Here, the power is entering the equipment. There will be a fuse. And we have X capacitors, common mode chalk to reduce the common mode noise, Y capacitors, inverse current limiter, it may be an inverse current limiter or a thermistor. Whatever it may be. Then we have a bridge rectifier and then we have the mains filter capacitor liberated from 10 microfarad to uh, 220 microfarad or 400 volt the farad depends upon the type of equipment in small uh, charges it will be 10 microfarad in TVs and monitors it will be 220 microfarad normally when you switch off the equipment the charge will remain there if it is an old equipment after this main filter capacitor there will be no automatic discharge but if it is a very new equipment people will the designers will like to put up a uh, resistor in parallel with this one like this here like this it will be around uh, 220k uh, 2 watt to 5 watt depending upon the designer so when even, even when the equipment is off the residual charge will go through the resistor and uh, so when the operator is repairing the equipment in the switch off state charge will not harm the operator but in all designs there won't be any resistor like this if you look at monitors like AOC or Samtron you will not find this resistor so if you are opening this for the first time without knowing about this fact uh, the voltage from here it may be around some 230 volt this can definitely damage you it damage you best when the values are uh, more than 10 microfarad usually because in 10 microfarad charge won't hold much but uh, anyway we have to look for safety so there are three methods one is shorting with the screwdriver another one is shorting with the bulb and another one with the high water resistor with the screwdriver it is like the capacitor will be here the terminals will be here and you will be touching the screwdriver lead to short the capacitor contacts in the PCB so you have to clearly be shorting this one what happens is that there will be a large current flow and capacitor will be dis uh, discharged but the dis main uh, result with this method is that the capacitor will be destroyed so this is not a good method another one is using a light bulb let me show the, uh, usually I use, uh, people use this big screwdriver to discharge a capacitor but to damage a screwdriver the PCB and the capacitor in the process it, it, the PCB can get blackened next method is used to light bulb I have a light bulb here it's of 100 watts and I have the two leads like this and I can attach the two leads to the capacitor terminals and I, this is a very good method because while the capacitor is discharging I can see the light on the light bulb and see how the capacitor is discharging you can manually observe this one so it's a very good method. Then we have high water resistor. For this purpose, we use a very high water resistor. This one is around 10 ohms, but it's preferably you could to use some uh, one k or something or some around 680 ohms or like that. Yeah, so 680 or 1k means it will take a lot of time to discharge, so there won't be much uh, current value. So these are the methods to discharge a capacitor. And I prefer my uh, light bulb method because it's much safer. You can usually observe the charge going out of the capacitor. 
it's not a very big problem in case of the new systems you know they have uh, the resistor in parallel with the output circuit or in, uh, in some circuits they have two capacitors they, they used to have two different resistors The value may be around um, 200k or something like that. So, this also another circuit which I see sometimes. By the way, it's always good to have this one in the design, the resistor in the design. If you don't have the resistor, always try to follow this method. One screwdriver, either bulk or high voltage resistor method to destroy the capacitor. 